Uh, hey again everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, this is a uh, just a quick tutorial um, and review on Lubuntu, which is a light distro of uh, Ubuntu. And it's a great distribution. I, I thoroughly recommend if you're looking into something that's not going to bog your system down too much, um, this is definitely probably the best one out there right now that I know of. Um, this is it right here. I'll tell you the system that I'm running. I recently just put in, I had some really old hard drives that I decided to go ahead and use. And uh, I put those in my PC. They're only 40 gigabytes a piece. And plus I have a 320 gigabyte hard drive. So I decided to try this these light distros and they work, they work great on my system. I have a three gigabyte 2.2 gigahertz, you know, old system, but it's, uh, you know, it works great. So you'll find that Lubuntu is very fast. Getting around on the internet is no problem. When you go to hook up a printer, it's easily, uh, you just do it through the network. You don't have to plug it into the PC. I even hooked up my, uh, I'm running a brother um, laser jet printer right now. And when I went to install it, I just went through the network didn't even have the actual uh, drivers for it, so I had to use drivers from another uh, another printer, and it worked fine. So it, there's no problem there. Uh, the Thunderbird email client that you see on my desktop is great. Everything's it, it, it really runs fast, guys. So again, if you're looking for something very light, I recommend uh, going with Lubuntu. This is the desktop. The browsers are great. Obviously, it's going to be Chromium and Firefox. Um, you can keep it updated, too. You can keep it updated through System Tools and Software Updater. And when you click on that, it just brings up the updater. And it, and it stays updated uh, all the time. Um, important security updates. One of the things I like about Ubuntu is, or Lubuntu as well is that uh, the, the simple firewall configuration that you can download. And you can get that also from you know just your regular software uh, store that you can go in and download. Uh, right now, it's, of course, it's checking for updates. I just wanted to show you that. Let's see if I got to install anything or if it's up to date. Okay, there we go. And I'll do that here later. Um, but if you go under here, you'll actually see, let's see, system tools, go under software, click on that, and then you can download just about anything you want. The Thunderbird mail client, the firewall configuration, it's all right there. You don't necessarily have to go through the terminal to download everything, but sometimes it's always good to go through the terminal because I believe you tend to get a better install through the terminal. But anyhow, that's it guys. That's, I just wanted to do a review. I recommend it. Great for a system like mine. If you have anything close to what you're running with mine or even more, it's even better. Thanks a lot.